Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Francis. Channel 3 once again teamed up with Masks for CT to help bring much needed face masks to the public. The fourth free mask giveaway got underway at the Torrington Middle School. Cars were lined up well before 6 o'clock this morning. The mask supply ran out by 11. Another event is being planned in Middletown for this Thursday. We have just learned there are at least two cases of the mysterious inflammatory illness that's been linked to COVID-19 at Connecticut Children's Medical Center. And hospital officials say they expect to confirm a third case today. The illness surfaced in New York last week. Three children are being treated at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. Symptoms include fevers that don't respond to Tylenol or Motrin, rashes, trouble breathing, redness around the eyes, and severe abdominal pain. We are learning some new information on murders in two different towns. First, in Windsor, where a pair of teenagers have been arrested for killing two women. 78-year-old Sandra Marcy and 55-year-old Marianne Jernka were found dead yesterday morning inside of a home on Clover Street. A third victim was also found inside of that home with serious injuries. We're told the suspects are both 17-year-old males. Their identities have not been released. Channel 3's Sharon Johnson will have the latest on this investigation ahead at 4.30. All right, and weather-wise this afternoon, it's going to be cool and breezy with a mostly sunny sky. Temperatures top out in the mid and upper 50s. Tonight, as the wind subsides, we could dip into the low and mid-30s, close to record levels to start our Wednesday. Tomorrow, we rebound the near 60 with a lot of sunshine. Then on Thursday, clouds increase late in the day. Highs that will be warmer into the mid and upper 60s. Then for Friday, we'll head into the mid and upper 70s. And there's a chance for some morning showers on Friday with a warm front, followed by a chance for late-day thunderstorms as a cold front moves through. The upcoming weekend looks pretty nice right now. For Saturday, we should see a partly to mostly sunny sky. It will be dry with highs still in the mid-70s, inland and along the shoreline. Then on Sunday, as another storm system moves in, we'll see the chance for some scattered showers. A little bit cooler than Saturday. And then on Monday of next week, there's a chance as well for a, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as another cold front moves through. So not a bad looking forecast. Keep in mind our normal high for this time of year is right at the 70 degree mark.